In a green pea pod, there live five pea brothers. Let's go see how they are doing. The Pea Blossom In a small pea pod, there lived five pea brothers. Oh, I feel bored. How long are we to sit here like this? I want to go out into the big world soon. The pea pod grew bigger and bigger. And then one day, crack, went the shell as it burst. The five pea brothers rolled out into the bright sunlight. Wow! It's so bright! Yeah! Finally! Here we go into the outer world! Right then, suddenly a big hand approached the pea pod and grabbed it. It was a little boy's hand. The little boy put the five pea brothers into his pocket. Um, why is it so dark in here? While the pea brothers were feeling puzzled, the boy's hand came down into the pocket and picked up the first pea brother. The first pea became very excited and shouted, Yahoo! Out I go! The boy put the first pea in his pea shooter and shot it out. Whoosh! The first pea flew up into the sky as if it had wings. Yahoo! I'm flying out into the wide world! Catch me if you can! The first pea fell into a gutter on the roof of a house. Guess what there was on the roof at that time? A pigeon saw the first pea and walked over to it. No! No! Stop! Don't come any closer! But the pigeon just gulped down the first pea. The boy shot out the other four brothers with his pea shooter. The second pea shouted proudly as he flew into the air. I'm going to fly straight into the sun, which looks just like me! The third pea and the fourth pea, which still hadn't woken up from their sleep, said with big yawns. We just want to go to sleep wherever we find ourselves. The last pea flew without saying anything. Far from getting to the sun, the second pea fell into the smelly water of a sewer. Because the second pea lay in the dirty water for a few days, his body absorbed the water and became fatter and fatter. Now what? My body has swelled so much and I can't even move! The lazy third pea and fourth pea fell into a crowded park. It's too noisy here. I should soon find a place to sleep. Oh, no! <laughs> Both the third and the fourth peas became food for pigeons in the park. It was in front of the window of an attic 
that the last pea fell. A sick girl and her mother lived alone in the attic. Mom, will I get better? Of course, dear. You shall get well and soon be able to play around outside. The last pea watched the sick girl and her mother and wanted to help the girl. The last pea rolled into a little crack in front of the window. Here is some soil and soft moss, too. I'll be able to live here. One day, the girl found the green seedling in front of her window. Ah! Uh, what's that, Mom? Her mother told her that it was a pea seedling. Wow! It's wonderful! How could it sprout in a place like this? The girl was amazed by the pea that had sprouted in the little crack in front of her window. She watered the pea and took good care of it. The pea grew taller and taller, and soon a flower blossomed on it. Mom! The pea blossomed! Is that right? You've watered it and grown it with loving care. Now, the pea gives you a present in return and shows its thanks. Hi, little pea. Thank you very much. I feel like I won't get sick anymore. The girl got better day by day, looking at the pea growing and flourishing. The girl got well and was finally able to run and play outside. The last pea was just so happy as he looked down at the girl having a merry time and running around. Wow! The last pea did help the little girl to get better. From now on, I'm going to be a good kid to give other people help, too. <laughs>